by an emotional celebration in Brainerd today. Connor Erickson, the high school football captain with a devastating brain injury, is now sleeping in his own room tonight for the first time in three months. Erickson's recovery included emergency brain surgery and then rehab at the Mayo Clinic. Jonah Kaplan shares the play-by-play -play for Connor's big personal win and his next battle ahead. A victory unlike any other and under a different kind of Friday night lights. How fitting for Connor Erickson to get a police and fire escort back home in Brainerd when more than three months ago, it was an ambulance that took him away. Friday's homecoming capping a three-month stay at hospitals in Fargo and then Mayo Clinic. To not knowing what was going to happen to him and how he was going to recover and all that, it was just it was kind of breathtaking. Connor's teammate Brandon Stark overcome with emotion to see his friend and captain. What was the example he just showed you? Anything's possible, really. I mean, you can come from anywhere. Whatever your situation is, is that you can strive and overcome from that. To keep it in football terms, Friday's party, a touchdown and a kickoff. The end of a drive, the start of a new one. A lot of challenges for Connor remain. But seriously, I'm not going to bet against this kid. Really, his struggle right now is, is taking the words that he has in his, in his mind, in his brain, and actually vocalizing them. That's the, the toughest part, I guess, cognitively, that he has right now. And then you know, physically, too, his, his, his right side isn't at full range of motion yet. Um, it's getting way better. Every, every single day is a little bit better. Connor not the only one home for the first time since September. His mom, Trina, never left his side. What a homecoming for the whole family. Jonah Kaplan, WCCO 4 News. It's wonderful to see. I'm sure he's thrilled to be home. Yeah, welcome home, Connor. Yeah. Good luck. Well, in addition to daily rehab, Connor will need a second brain surgery in Fargo, but that has not been scheduled yet.